Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today, we're pleased to present an award to AB Bank for Vietnam's fastest growing retail bank. With the support of national as well as international partners, AB Bank has grown around a professional and modern management team. With the goal to become one of the leading commercial joint stock banks in Vietnam and a focus on retail banking, AB Bank has a strong emphasis on development and investment in technology and has enjoyed considerable growth over recent years. AB Bank aims to provide a platform for utility products and services for individual customers, corporate customers, as well as small and medium enterprises across the nation of Vietnam. Global Banking and Finance Review is pleased to present an award for Fastest Growing Retail Bank Vietnam 2017. Recently, we were glad to welcome to London Deputy General Director Ms. Pian Thi Hien to receive the award. Well, welcome to London and thank you so much for being with us today and congratulations on the award as well. Uh, it's my our pleasure to be here to, uh, to get the award. Thank you for that. And in fact, congratulations also on 24 years of operation with AB Bank. Uh, how would you say, looking back over that time, the market, the banking market has evolved in Vietnam? Um, previous uh, years. Uh, we, uh, our economy uh, experienced a recovery after the uh, toughest periods of five years since um, uh, 2010 uh, to the 2015 um, of the downturn in the economy. Um, uh, we last year, we see the increase in uh, GDP at the 6.2%, uh, uh, and the inflation is just uh, at the rate of the 2.8%. Uh, for the uh, Vietnamese uh, banking industry, we also see the recovery um, after the um, after the uh, such period. Um, under the uh, focus of the um, of the government on the reforming the banking industry, uh, we um, decrease the number of the um, of the um, commercial banks. Um, and now we have the only thirty one uh, commercial banks. In Vietnam, uh, the focus, uh, the government's focus on the improving the uh, uh, efficiency and um, competition, uh, competitiveness of the uh, of the banking um, sectors. Um, uh, we also can maintain the uh, non-performing loan ratio uh, lower than the three percent uh, of the total outstanding loan to the market, um, and um, that's why uh, the. Um, uh, government believes that uh, we can um, uh, improve faster and we can uh, restructuring and finish uh, reforming the period uh, sooner than expected. Uh, according to the um, reports of the uh, World Bank, um, uh, Vietnamese uh, economy uh, has the uh, positive um, medium term outlook uh, and uh, we uh, recovery uh, at the um, at the uh, the asset rate uh, because we have the um, uh, local huge uh, huge local demand, and we also have the, the uh, economy that um, manufacturing um, uh, focus on the uh, exports. So it's a, it's a very competitive uh, market at the moment. What would you say that the current trends in, in the banking sector actually are at the moment in Vietnam? Um, we see the, uh, some uh, trends in uh, in uh, Vietnam uh, Vietnamese banking sectors um, that um, is not outside the trend of the uh, global banking sectors. Uh, some similar like um, uh, because uh, of the um, because of the um, challenge from the ah. fintech wave. Uh, of the uh, fintech um, products that, pro that uh, non-bank sectors provide to the customers. And that's uh, a lot, um, many banks in Vietnam now have to diversify the product and services to, um, to adapt uh, to the new, um, to the new uh, situation of the, uh, the market and the new requirements of the market. Um, uh, besides on that, um, because uh, our banks uh, in Vietnam 
um, the income, measure income of the banks come from um, from the interest income. Um, it's accounted uh, around 80% of the total income of the bank. Uh, now uh, we uh, see the importance of the uh, uh, non-interest income. That's why we have to focus on the products, um, especially for the, um, um, the technology intents that to provide to the customers. Well, those are some of the current trends. Anything else you want to add to that? Uh, I think one more important point I want to add on the current trend, uh, because you see that um, the Vietnamese uh, economy is cash economy, and uh, currently the government and also state bank of Vietnam uh, want to increase uh, the um, capacity of the banks on providing the non-cash transactions to the uh, to the market, uh, and uh, that's why all the banks have to um, try the best effort on the not only the training the customers on the way they behave with the money and the way they do the transaction and the payment uh, so that uh, to um, align with the uh, direction that the government is to uh, increase the uh, uh, non-cash transactions of the customers. So you've actually enjoyed a, a, a fantastic 168% growth over, over the years gone by. What do you contribute and attribute indeed to that uh, massive success? Um, we, um, looking back to what we have achieved last year uh, under the um, this closely supervised and the support from the BOD, um, we um, see this uh, some um, primary um, uh, contribution to the major, to such major achievement. It is uh, the first about the, um, uh, the first is about the network. Uh, we increase uh, significantly the number of the um, traditional uh, network, around 159 um, uh, point of transactions uh, over uh, 33 uh, provinces and cities that provide the service to the uh, key customer of that ca key carrier area. Um, the later, um, because um, uh, we have to diversify uh, the product to provide to the customers, because uh, we're not only relying on the traditional network, but we also uh, provide the service um, uh, non-traditional network, like um, the service and products on the uh, online banking or mobile banking to the customers. Um, the next one is uh, about we, um, we are um, trying and uh, maintaining the low uh, non-performing non loan. Um, it's challenging in Vietnam because, um, uh, because you know that um, non-performing loan um, the service is not easy at all. Um, uh, but. Um, we have um, our planning uh, for uh, for the recovery of the uh, uh, non-performing loan is um, had been made a, a good uh, a good mark last year, and uh, that's why we uh, our non-performing loan is a rate uh, lower than requirements of the state bank of Vietnam of three percent. Uh, the next one is uh, the next point uh, that uh, help us to. Uh, uh, improve the um, the the the, um, the uh, efficiency and uh, efficiency of the uh, operation. This is uh, some uh, we provide the uh, wide wider range of the product to the customers uh, by um, uh, by um, uh, separating the SME division um, from the uh, corporate banking uh, to uh, in order to uh, speci uh, specify uh, the. Uh, uh, requirements of the that segments, and also to provide the um, uh, the specialized uh, products to that customers. Uh, so, um, uh, the last uh, the last reason is us because we uh, maintain the stable uh, funding sources and um, uh, lower the cost of the funding, and uh, we maintain the good uh, liquidity, and the why is also the reason that uh, support us. Uh, to, to achieve the results 
plastic. So you've made some quite important changes there to make things more effective. And one of the recent developments I know is that AB Bank uh, actually has become the first Vietnamese member of the Financial Innovations of UNEP, to get it c correct there. Tell us more about the membership and the significance of that. Um, the, since um, 2013, um, now when uh, IFC became our um, strategic partners and strategic shareholders, uh, we also have the kind of commitment together to provide the, um, the free loan to the customer and support uh, the specific um, customer with, to, with the, um, uh, the projects uh, that um, um, focus on the sustainable development and the uh, green economy. Uh, uh, green technology. Um, no, joining uh, to uh, continue that um, commitment. Um, no, early this year, early this year, uh, we uh, became the uh, the first bank in Vietnam became the member of the UNEP FI. Um, this is um, the program that um, had been um, established in um, 1972 in Stockholm by UN um, to focus on the sustainable development and preventing the uh, climate change. Um, uh, become the, a member of this program, uh, we, um, uh, be, uh, we want to be a pioneer in Vietnam uh, to support the customer by green uh, financing and um, support their uh, project uh, to, um, uh, to focus on the sustainable development. Um, uh, the next one, uh, when we um, beca when we become the member of the uh, of this program, um, we are able to um, uh, to join with a network of uh, over two hundred uh, members uh, from over you know, forty uh, countries, uh, which is we can exchange the experience and the um, we can learn from them. Uh, so that we can uh, improve our efficiency and uh, to know how to 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 um, support the customer on the uh, on the sustainable development and how to um, manage the environment risk and also the social risk um, and uh, um, besides on that uh, we uh, also want to improve the efficiency uh, and um, of the uh, uh, our green portfolio um, because you know that uh, the, for the project for the um, uh, uh, for the eco um, uh, for the uh, green uh, technology yes, or yeah. clean technology is normally mm -hmm. um, need money and a lot uh, but we believe that um, for the sustainable development uh, this is the good way to uh, to support uh, the customer not only for the customer, not only for ourselves, but also for the society. Yes, absolutely, yeah. with a, a green environment, absolutely. Now, I know, I mean, that's just one thing you mentioned there, and I know AB Bank is very keen uh, to come up with new innovations and improve services uh, to your customers. Can you tell us about some of your, your latest and uh, releases and projects? Um, you know that for the improved the, uh, customer experience, it's not only how many new products we provide to the customer, but also how the customer feel about the uh, product and services. And that's why uh, besides the new products we provide to the uh, customers, depend on specific sectors, like a large corporate customer, or um, uh, the SME customer, or especially for the retail customers. Um, now, all that product we provide to the customer uh, need to be um, kind of um, bring more um, efficiency to the customer, uh, help the customer have the better uh, experience with the bank, uh, like um, a shorter time serving, uh, like um, you know, we focus on the operation excellence. Uh, we have to focus on the um, uh, on uh, improving the, our SLA to, um, to provide the service. Um, besides on that, uh, for now the customer uh, like uh, experience uh, the, um, uh, the new technology products. And uh, we are now also focusing on that. Um, last year, um, IB Bank 
fan page on Facebook. It's also one of the top eight uh, fan page um, in Vietnam. Uh, and uh, they interact with the customer uh, on their omni channel. And so I think it's also uh, the uh, good uh, way to improve the customer experience with the bank. Keeping up with the times and uh, being very modern. Uh, uh, and moving on, we've got a, another half year to go yet before the end of 2017, at least at the time of this recording. Uh, what, what are your plans for the future? Any, any exciting new innovations that we can hear about? Um, we have a big plan for um, uh, 2017. Uh, like um, uh, besides, on, or like all other banks, we have a business plan. Yes, we have to complete the uh, business plan, especially for the financial target at the yeah, at increasing the uh, net profit by uh, 22 percent. Um, besides on that, we have the others uh, big. Um, uh, target uh, like um, uh, we um, uh, we are um, keeping the uh, Moody's uh, rating. Uh, the next one is uh, listing our shares on the uh, stock exchange. Um, uh, we also expect to uh, uh, to uh, prepare our uh, financial reports uh, according to the uh, uh, IFRS uh, standard. Um, the next uh, target of this year is uh, we um, have so many projects uh, need to be implemented to apply uh, digital requirements. Uh, and uh, the last um, the big uh, point that we prefer, uh, we um, expected to, to, to complete this year is that to improve um, our financial indicators like ROE or ROA. It sounds like you're going to be very, very busy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for coming and telling us more about AB Bank. Once again, congratulations on the award, and it's been really nice talking to you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you.